Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about creating classes and objects. This is part 1. Creating a class or blueprint is required to create objects of that class. Class keyword is used to create a class followed by the name of the class. It is advised to keep the first letter of the class name to be in uppercase. The class body is specified using a block or pair of braces. Characteristics and behaviors of objects are declared inside this class body. Variables represent characteristics and methods represent the behavior of the object. Variables declared in a class are known as data members of a class and methods declared inside a class are known as member methods. So definitely for creating objects, the first thing required is to create a class. Class is created with the keyword class itself followed by the class name. It is advised to keep the first letter of the class name to be in uppercase. The block or the body of the class is declared with the help of pair of braces. Characteristics are defined in class with help of variables known as data members and behaviors are defined with help of methods known as member methods. Once a class is created, any number of objects of that class can be created. Don't forget, class is just a prototype of an object. It means the behaviors and characteristics defined inside a class will not have any physical existence until and unless an object of the class is created. Though all the objects of the class will have the same characteristics, the value of these characteristics may vary from object to object. These objects will share this common behavior as well, but that may result differently as per the value of the characteristic. So once a class is created, we can create as many objects as we want and until and unless we create an object of a class, the definition of the class will not make any physical existence for that characteristics and behavior. All the objects share the same characteristics, though value of those characteristics may vary and definitely according to the value of characteristics, the behavior also varies. For example, there is a common human definition which can be called as a human class definition and we all are objects of that class. Now we have certain characteristics like eyes, ear, nose, mouth, hands, legs and we all are different objects of that same class but some of the objects will have different number of characteristics. That is the same case over here as well. For example, student can be an object for any certain software with some characteristics like name, standard, roll number, admission number, marks obtained, etc. It will have some certain behaviors like take admission, attend class, give exams, issue books, participate in activity, etc. And there can be different number of students for the same software or there can be different objects of the student. So to help with this scenario, what we will do, we will create different objects for each student. And to create an object, we need a student class. Now inside that student class, we will have data members and we will have member methods where these data members are representing the characteristics of the student and member methods will represent the behaviors of the student. And once the class is created, we can create different objects from the class to represent individual student over there. A class method can accept as many parameters as we want. A method's parameter is passed when the method is called. Now these parameters of a method are nothing but those values that we can pass by calling those methods and we have seen these methods and their parameters earlier as well. After performing the task, a method can return value back to the place from where the method is called. A method at max can return only one value. The return type of the method is represented by the method prototype. 
we should use the void return type if we don't want to return any value from the method the returning value is returned by using the return keyword in the method along with the value now the syntax for a method looks something like this and i know some of the things you are not understanding right now but throughout this specific section you will understand each one of them so the syntax says there should be some access specifier there should be some return type followed by method name followed by parameter list within the pair of parentheses for example public is an access specifier void is a return type now void means that this specific method is not going to return any value now any time if your method is not returning any value you should use void over there and that represents that this specific method is not going to return any specific value except is the method name and here integer i and integer j are two parameters that we can pass when we will call this except method so we can pass two integer values while calling this specific method so guys that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care